YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today we're going to be breaking down how I turn this into this. Today we're going to be using the Scene Packs Shockwave Effects Pack. If you guys want to go get it, it'll be linked in the description below. There is a free sample that you guys can download and use. If you guys want to go ahead and get the full pack, I'll have a $5 off code in the description as well. But without further ado, let's hop right into the effect. We have this Yeet clip pulled up from the Poppin Music video. First off, to get this effect right, we are going to rotoscope the subject. If you guys do not know how to rotoscope, I'll have a video linked in the description below for that. So once you have them rotoscoped like so, you guys want to go ahead and open the Shockwave Effects Pack. They split it down into five different packs. I'm going to open the first one, go over to Particles, and and then let's try particle three, for example. Drag and drop that in there below yeet. And as you can see, there's a really cool particle explosion in the background there. Let's check out particle four, see how this one looks. Now this one's even bigger, isn't that insane? <laughs> looks amazing. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this below the rotoscope layer of yeet, turn on the rotoscope layer, and then make sure below you have like the unrotoscope version. So you're gonna have the regular footage. So we're gonna turn both on, having the particle explosion behind him. Now this one's really big, and then we have a smaller particle explosion. So it's up to you guys for what you want to use. Once again, this is me just going through one of the five different things. So let's open up Shockwave, see what's in this one. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Number six. That's a cool effect there. Nice little portal opening up. The guys over at Scene Packs really went crazy with this one. Like, look at that there. I think that one best matches a fire. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. Once again, we're going to put it below Yeet. I'm going to delete these two here. And then I recommend opening this up here, going down the transform. In the very beginning, keyframing the position, the rotation, and the scale. And then I'm just going to make it start a little bit behind him. So have the, the marker right behind him, just like so. So when this goes off here, I'm going to move that up and behind to see where it is on his chest compared to here on his chest. That's just makeshift tracking. And boom, already a crazy effect, as you guys can see. And let's say, for example, if we were going to do it with the next one, let's go back and put on our particle burst, the third one. This is the one that I have here. So once again, open it up, transform, position, scale, rotation. Once again, make sure this is aligned on his chest. You guys can just drag that and then going back and aligning it on his chest there. I'll play that through. Might even want to bring it down just a little bit and then down a bit here. I like the way that looks there. Really unique and cool effect. Now, if you guys want to add a little bit more sauce to this, I recommend going to a keyframe where you can see the whole explosion. I'm going to go and I'm going to add a deep glow. If you guys don't have a deep glow, I highly recommend it. Crazy effect. So as you can see, look at the difference on that. And then if you guys want to get rid of the black background, go and unmalt this right here and boom. And then if you guys want to add a tiny bit more sauce, HLS color balance, drag and drop that on there. And then we're going to keyframe the hue at the very beginning and then go to the end and we're going to drag it until we get a nice little rotation there. And that's just making it multicolor. The colors are going to be changing if you guys like that you can go ahead and do that if you don't whatever and then back to the shockwave one i like this one a little bit more because i believe it matches the fire in the background a little bit and then let's throw glow on this one and then unmalt it boom pretty cool once again, guys, if you guys want to go cop this pack, it will be linked in the description below. I have a $5 off code for you guys alongside a free pack. If you guys want to go download it, it's only a few assets in the free one. But if you guys want to play around with it before deciding if you want to make a purchase, it's linked in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I recommend checking out our last video alongside a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials we have on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.